is Julie. Welcome to my channel. And in this video, I am going to show you how to make this Mobius ripple or chevron cowl. So without further ado, let's get started. For this particular project, I am using a size H hook. This is some scrap. This is Mandela yarn. It is a size three. We're going to start out by making a chain of 136, which I've already done. So what we're going to do now is not twist, trying not to twist this yarn. You are going to connect with our first chain with a single crochet. And you're going to single crochet in the next four. If you have a total of five, you're going to three single crochet in the next stitch. Then you're going to do one single crochet in the next five. One, two, three, four, and five. You're going to skip the next two stitches and one single crochet in the next five. The next stitch, you're going to do three single crochets. Single crochet in the next five. Skip two stitches and single crochet in the next five. And three single crochet in the next stitch. You're going to repeat that process until you get to the last six stitches. You should have six stitches left by the time before you beat up at the beginning of this row. So I'm going to keep going and I'll let you know when to do once I reach within the six stitches. Okay. After we skip these two stitches, you will have six stitches left. So we would skip these two stitches, single crochet in the next five.
and three single crochet in this stitch that is the last unworked chain but we are not at the end of our row we are only halfway through our row and if it would make it easier mark the first stitch so we're at the beginning but we're not we're at the middle of the row now the hard part is that we twist this and we are going to work on the opposite side of the foundation chain as you can see now it looks like we're forming that other half of the chevron so now we, that we've twisted it, we're on, working on the other side of the foundation chain. We're going to single crochet now in the next five chains on the other side of the foundation chain. Two. Now we're just going to skip the one that had stitched that had the chain three from the other side. Single crochet in the next five. see that we had that where we skipped the chain two space three single crochet in that crochet in the next five stitches again on the other side of, still on the obviously on the other side of the foundation chain skip stitch that had the chain the three single crochets on the other side single crochet in the next five back in the chain chain two space that he had skipped on the other side three single crochets in that so you're just going to repeat this around until we get to get back to the beginning of our row all right i've finished up the other side of the foundation chain and now we're going to work in continuous rounds. So we are at the back at the beginning. We're going to skip this stitch and single crochet in that first stitch. And if it make it easier, you mark it. And crochet in the next, okay, after this one, the next four.
three single crochet this next stitch over this top of the chevron and a single crochet in the next five Then skip the next two stitches, single crochet in the next five. You reach the top of the chevron three single crochet in that stitch single crochet in the next five Skip, obviously, then you're going to skip the two stitches for the dip in our chevron and single crochet in the next five. And you are going to repeat this all the way around. Till. You're back up to this marker. At this point I wanted to show that I was halfway through the round and our my stitch marker is on the other side so that means I was halfway done and now I'm working on the other side of our movie strip this might be, could be a reason why it'd be helpful to have a marker at the beginning of our row okay I have reached back by my stitch marker so what you're going to do is you're going to skip, and because we're, we're going to continue this round, you're going to skip this stitch and the marked stitch. Put it forward. You can't just skip two stitches and then that's our first stitch of the row. Keep going. So that was our first one. Mm. That's it. You just keep going with that same row over and over again until you get Probably the height that you would like your scarf. Here, I'll move our camera out so we can see how our Mobius is forming. All right, and you keep going with that one row until you get the size you want. show you what to do when you're ready to finish up. All right, I am about ready to finish off this project. So I just did three, nope, I did three single crochets. And I'm gonna do a single crochet in the next four. slip stitch into this last stitch 
and I'm going to finish this off. probably what I did it earlier is that I placed the marker on the side that was the beginning so I didn't change markers after every couple rows and there you have my Mobius ripple or chevron cowl it says this is totally adjustable by you you can make this if you wanted to make it bigger you could have made it bigger I just simply was starting to run out of yarn because I had used a scrap Mandela yarn for this. So if you did like this tutorial, please give it a like. If you have any other suggestions for con content for my channel, please let me know in the comments. Please subscribe if you already haven't done so. And I want to thank you again for watching this video. And I will see you in my next video. Bye now.